What you're about to hear sounds absolutely insane. A company dumped over a thousand truckloads of waste directly into a protected national park, 12,000 tons of rotting orange peels. People were outraged. Courts shut it down. But 16 years later, scientists returned to this forgotten wasteland and discovered something that will blow your mind. The barren field had become a thriving jungle. What started as environmental vandalism became one of the most successful restoration projects in history. This is the incredible story of how garbage became gold. It all started in northwestern Costa Rica, in the Guanacaste Conservation Area. This land was dying. Decades of cattle ranching had destroyed the soil. Invasive grasses choked out native plants. Nothing could grow. Traditional restoration would cost millions and take centuries. Enter Dr. Daniel Jansen and Dr. Winnie Hallwax. These brilliant ecologists had a crazy idea. Nearby, the Del Oro Orange Juice Company had a massive problem. Mountains of waste. Every day, thousands of tons of peels and pulp with nowhere to go. Disposal was expensive and environmentally destructive. So, the scientists proposed an audacious deal. Del Oro could dump their waste on degraded parkland for free, and in exchange, donate pristine forest to expand the park. 1,200 hectares of protected forest. The deal was struck. The theory was elegant. First, the peels would smother invasive grasses. Second, as they decomposed, they would release massive amounts of nutrients. Carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, creating the perfect foundation for forest regrowth. Wildlife would bring seeds from surrounding forests, and nature would do the rest. In 1996, the experiment began. 1,000 truckloads spread 12,000 tons of citrus waste across three hectares. The sight was shocking. The smell was overwhelming. Scientists established a control plot nearby for comparison and waited to see what would happen. But they wouldn't get the chance to find out. Because all hell was about to break loose, the public was furious. A corporation was polluting a national park. A rival company sued and won. After just one year, the project was shut down. The site was abandoned, forgotten, left to rot. For 16 long years, nobody returned. Nature was left to work in complete solitude. Until, in 2013, Princeton graduate student Timothy Troyer decided to find the lost experiment. After hours of searching through impenetrable jungle, he found it. But this wasn't the barren wasteland he expected. It was a thriving 15-meter-tall jungle. The difference was absolutely staggering. The soil was transformed. Wildlife had returned. Biodiversity exploded. What they discovered next changed everything we thought we knew about restoration. The results, published in Restoration Ecology, were mind-blowing. 176% more plant growth than the control plot, nearly three times more forest in the same amount of time, all from garbage that was supposed to be pollution. The failed experiment